Good morning, friends. Thursday. And you won't believe what's on my trailer. Aww. The little bandito is back. So about a month ago, I was using it at a bad access job. And this track stopped responding to the remote control. And this is not a bandit issue. This was a ScanReco issue, uh, the, rem the remote. So track stopped working, worked from the uh, manual levers, but I had no, I no longer have the ability to adjust the hydraulic flow rate or whatever it is on bandits. Uh, I do it from the remote. <clears throat> So I couldn't do it. It was like stuck at 100%. So it was like super aggressive. So it was impossible to drive. Like usually if I'm using this thing, it's because the gate is 30 inches or it's going through a man door of 32 inches or it's doing something stupid. So with the ground controls being so crazy, um, it just wasn't, I couldn't, I'm not good enough to run it um, smooth from those. And you can't see anything, I, not interested. So it's been parked. I've been working on it a little bit every day. It seemed every other day. Um, going through wires, checking solenoids, checking everything. I don't know what I did a couple nights ago, but I simply just took everything apart, cleaned it, reinstalled it, um, and it worked. I, I mean, I moved the paddles around. I moved the solenoids around. I moved hose from one solenoid to another to see. I tried everything. You know, I had a lot of people trying to help me figure this thing out, and it was just, uh, I had no idea. But anyways... It drove up onto the trailer this morning, so I'm gonna go try it out on a job that it's not needed for, but it's just a tiny little like six or eight inch stump. It'll be good for, um, and make sure it works. And then hopefully I can put it back to work next week. Cause I got a bunch of stuff to do with it that's been waiting and waiting and waiting. And uh, yeah, kind of nice to have it back up on here. So going to like Littleton Lakewood today. Um, I'm doing one for a nice older woman for a lot cheaper than normal uh, not sure I don't know how I don't know I don't know what happened or how it happened but she insisted that I gave her a price which I don't think I did but I don't care I'm gonna go and knock out hers so he's basically like volunteer day so she's like paying something and then there's another one with like couple stumps and someone told her that I charged $35 for a job I don't know where I don't know I don't care um, but she's you know she's not she seems like she's got some stuff going on and uh, if she's worried about tree stumps and I'm gonna go and take them out for free um, so she doesn't have to worry about it hopefully somebody looks out for me when I'm old so yeah I got those two and I think I have two paying the jobs and then hopefully a bid and we'll see what else but uh Let's go get to it. It's already late. It's like 9 o'clock. I uh, slept in a little bit. My bad. Sorry. But anyways, let's go to work. See you guys in a bit. That's Loki. Oh, yeah.
to that last one. Been thinking. Maybe I'm just really selfish because doing something for someone for free or, you know, changing somebody's tire on the side of the road, helping somebody that's stuck in the snow, like whatever. I always try to do that. Um, so is that a selfish? Am I being selfish because it makes me feel good? I was thinking about that. And is that bad? <laughs> that woman was so excited. She was so pumped. Um, and that's all I could ask. You know, she didn't have the funds to pay my normal stuff rates. Uh, she, you know, really anybody, uh, anybody's rates. It, it was a very low number that she was offering. So, you know, no big deal, whatever. It was half hour, 45 minutes of time, but she's so happy. So that's cool. I like doing that. So if you haven't done something nice for somebody lately, go help somebody. It makes you feel good. And then you could be selfish like me. <laughs> One more job. That's a wrap. Pretty cool day. Half the day was feel good stuff. I don't feel bad about it. I'm glad I was able to help. Tomorrow, Highlands Ranch, three backyard stumps with cleanup. And then maybe some bids. And then hopefully getting the 650 mini skid over to ATMR their uh, engine shop. I'm having electrical issues. Um, Vermeer had already looked at it. Didn't solve the problem. So I'm going to have ATMR hopefully figure out where the, the electrical drain is. So that's that. Tomorrow should be a pretty quick casual day. Um, I got Dobbs services, Dobbs um, dumpster or Dobbs dump trailer services coming out to carry off some mulch for me so yeah that's that watching the sun go down just about a gone but that was a good day hope you guys had a great day too i'll see you tomorrow